Oh, right. good, very good. Good to see you, man. Good yeah, to see you. See you. Man, good thank see you for everything, bringing us in, allowing us to come in and enjoy your spot. Yeah. I mean, Dapper is an amazing spot. I mean, ah, thank as, you. as far as what you've done, it's like game changing. Seriously, it really is. I really appreciate it. Ah, well, thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want everybody to know, Q World. We are basically going to go through and talk a little bit about what my man Sean has done here. Show you guys the whole vicinity of what it's about. And if you haven't been here or joined, you need to. This is really a phenomenal spot to get away. So Sean, talk to us a little bit about where you're at and what you're doing and your vision. I mean, obviously we're in the shop, so let's yeah. know what, what you what Yeah. You're... You know, I got to thinking years ago, because I've been in the hair world for 20, almost 22 years. Yes, sir. That right before the depression and through the depression, barbershops were, were done. Yeah. But before that, the barber shop was the place where a guy went. Um, there was no, uh, there's no credit score. Right. That's where a guy established himself in the community. Right. Um, he kept himself, you know, super clean, super sharp. Um, but ever since the depression, you right. know, barber shops have just been an in and out thing. Yes, no longer was a place for a guy to go relax. And so, we we really wanted to bring that back, have like a true men's right. style shop. Right. Took the time. Mm -hmm place for a guy to come hang out and so kind of the, as, as we go around everything that I have has, has a story about so well, I want them I want our, our followers to know explain to us like what you actually do here like what type of services you offer because it's high-end this isn't the typical just go to your, your normal neighborhood barbershop look and what they do your barbers are really really high-end they do some things that are not common in most barbershops but also the whole vision downstairs as well before we start walking around yeah 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 yeah, yeah so that's the thing uh, you know back in the the old days the really high-end barbershops usually would have been in hotels yes, they would have would have brought oils in from the orient mm -hmm. um and they did a lot of things that guys today aren't accustomed to. Right. And so kind of coming back into that ease and back into it, um, we try to carry on that same theme as much as we can, right. but still appeal to, to the modern day, you know, gentleman, you know, the, right. the, the guy that, that owns his own business to right. the guy that, that, you know, works down the street. Right. Um, you know, we, we want to appeal to everybody because we feel like everybody deserves to have a spot and to enjoy service. Yes, and so, uh, so yeah, everything from the oils that, you know, we use in our services uh, to the shave creams, um, you know, the cold cucumber eye peels, mm -hmm. the cold face compresses. Right. Um, you know, we, we want a guy to feel, you know, slightly pampered, yes, um, but not overdo it. Um, and so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome, and that's how you do it right. Yeah. So walk us around a little bit, show us around what you're doing and what your thought process was, and yeah. Um, so, kind of the the start of the whole shop were our barber chairs. Um, so two of our chairs came off of a ship called the Acquisition. Right. That what that set sail in 1897. Mm -hmm. That was a four chair barber shop. We were able to get two of them, um, but that ship was built by what was started that time as as called the stock market. So that was their sales vehicle to sell mm -hmm. into other, other cities and you know, sell into port, figure out who out, who had the money, right. invite them out. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, but you know, I figured if we're gonna cater to a guy, give him that real old world service. Right. I mean, it starts where you sit. Yes, sir. I agree. And so, so we've got two 1897 Eugene Burning House. Mm -hmm. They call them double rounds because the back and the seats round. Gotcha. Um, and then we have two 1901s. Um, in 1901, the United States Patent and Trade Office became a thing, right. um, and a company in St. Louis called Koken mm -hmm. stole the patent for the Eugene Burning House chair that it had been making for 10 years. Wow. Well, they had a lot of money, and they won. So we have a 1901 Koken wow. chair that looks exactly the same as a 1901 Eugene Burning House. Right. In right. early 1903, they went bankrupt because they couldn't afford the, right. the lawsuit. But so kind of some fun stuff. Um, our back bar mm -hmm. was actually an old bank lobby that came out of the uh, second warden savings bank in Milwaukee, gotcha. which that bank was built by Patrick Schlitz and wow. Frederick Pabst. Wow. So the, the old Pabst Blue Ribbon Company. Right. And so I repurposed all of it. Oh, our, our retail wow. case, those were two uh, bank teller windows um, and all of our back bar stuff. 
that's you know, came from truly that. truly historical. Like, that's, I never, ever knew that. Yeah. I've been here a lot. I've never knew yeah. that. I never yeah. knew that. So, yeah, so part of, of the whole concept of Dapper uh, being a membership-based right. um, thing, you know, I don't care who you are, old, young, man, woman. Right. Um, everybody loves a secret passageway. Mm -hmm. They do, exactly. And so we wanted to create a member's lounge that's, you know, full craft cocktail. Right. Um, and so we put in a secret hidden wall, secret mm -hmm. password, and it's all operated on thumbprint. Gotcha. Wow. Or fingerprint, what, whatever finger wow. you want to use. Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll take you down and, and show you that. Mm -hmm. I kind of wanted this area, as you turn the stairwell, you land in this area, right. Right. Uh, you know, and it looks like a, a good gentleman's English it does. library. It does. It looks like there's no way to even get in anywhere. It's like a dead yeah. end to me. <laughs> so, yeah, so over here we put in... You open this old pane, oh, yeah. put in a fingerprint sensor, um, and then this wall over here, this is actually the entrance, so you just push here to the right, wow. you know, and this opens up wow. into the Hepburn. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Beautiful. So yeah, so down here, you know, the concept is, is you know, super high end. Right. Um, if you, you can catch a, a shot of yeah. Jay actually cutting ice at the moment. Mm -hmm. So we, we cut all of our own ice, super specific about all of our ingredients. We make all of our own syrups in house. Right. Um, we've got everything in our bar from, you know, $220 pork pappy to, you know, uh, you know, a, an eight dollar pour of right. Buffalo Trace. Right, right. right. So, um, but yeah, everything down here. This was the old boiler room for the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, our back bar, if you swing around here, uh -huh. we built out of old piano and organ parts. Right, right, yeah. So, <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> that's phenomenal. <laughs> old yeah. piano parts. Yeah. Wow. That old mirror came out of. Uh, down in Eureka Springs, mm -hmm. there was an old pub from years ago, but it had spent 30 years as a basically a chicken coop. Right. The people who bought the building were cleaning the walls because it was so dirty and wow. realized it was shiny. Wow. And so we repurposed that, but it's got the old flaky back and right, right. you know whatnot. Um, that cash register mm -hmm. is from the original um, in uh, Goodyear, the very first Goodyear retail shop in Sykeson, wow. Missouri. Wow. And so that was, wow. they started making tires and that was their register wow. they used to ring people out. So I came across that. You got Pabst Blue Ribbon, Goodyear. I mean, what else can you do? Yeah. I mean, this is amazing. Good, this is amazing. Good, good stuff and good stories. Our bathroom's cool. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to tell me where you want. you good. But yeah. This is the old uh, vault door that came out of the hotel upstairs that we repurposed right. and used for our bathroom. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Huge, man. It's beautiful. We yeah. like the, the way it looks. looks we reverse the hardware so you can actually walk it from the inside so you have privacy and, right, 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 right. you know, whatnot. But, yeah. I don't know, just fun time. I'm a sucker for old. Right, no doubt. I like it. Antique with feel, classic feel, but still high end at the same yep. time. Yep. Still high end at the same time. Yeah. You can so, feel like an extreme gentleman, but from, you know, 1904. So tell everyone, like, if they want to come here, the, the locals that don't know about this, what do they have to do to join or be a part of this, or what do you do? You pretty much schedule a haircut. Okay. So it, it's kind of a, a dual interview. Okay. Um, we keep a, a certain caliber person right, right, right. which has nothing to do with with you know sexual gender or right. sexual preference or color or, right. or financial status yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's that unique person right. that holds a certain moral standard um, likes to have fun likes right. to have a good time but knows knows where that right. you know where that ends and, right. um, and so right. so yeah you can get a haircut and yeah if you, if you if you like us and we like right. you then it's all good right? make you a member I like that I yeah. like that well, I'll tell yeah. you what. Yeah. So Springfield, Missouri, the rest of the world, this is Dapper, and it's my boy Sean. If you're ever in the area, please visit him at Dapper. As you can see, it's high end, high quality, and he's gonna take care of you. Hope you're having a well. Q World, we say Q World. You say Q World. Yeah. One, two, three. Q World. There it is. Yeah. Hey, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for your time. Have a good night. <laughs>